So I was gonna do a joke about Yara smelling really, really bad, but it would have involved my little doggy, and I didn't. She smells nice. I don't want her. All right. We are talking about Yara Sestioin, the horny nun, um, the one where her summer costume smells very appropriate. If you know what it looks like, it smells very fishy. Um, there are going to be a lot of sex jokes in this video just because it's Kiara. Uh, she's, she's going to take all the punishment because that's what she likes. And this is actually confirmed in story. <laughs> Fucking OC3. Oh my God. Um, yeah. So OC3 has been, I haven't read the whole thing. I just saw some brief stuff on Twitter and I've just like enjoyed what I saw. I'm pretty sure Kiara has said that even more times than I ever will. Um, she got a buff and now she has literally every part of her kit buffed. First, second, third, and her MP all been buffed. <laughs> and honestly, like seeing plushy mistress um, half this summer because Koyan didn't get the buff. He didn't get swimmer Koyan, and now he's cheating on his uh, divorce lawyer with his uh, therapist, his couple's therapist, that he has been clapping cheeks of the last seven years. There are just tons of jokes just lying around for this. Um, but yeah, I have Kiara on uh, NA. I don't have her higher than MP1. This this buff is to me is saying like what. In two years, I have to summon for Arquid and MP2 Kiara on uh, main. Not because her buff is like so groundbreakingly good that it changes everything or whatever. It's just a really nice buff for her and like proof that they goddess metamorphosis like skills like what she had. They're not gonna they're not gonna do them. They're not gonna release skills like that in their present state. They're always gonna try to probably start how it is now so let's get started base attack 11.6k uh this is a good number for a five star it's not the highest but it's like at least at the midpoint 14.6k she has a lot of hp she could take a lot of punishment a lot of punishment she gets like plushy beach clapping her cheeks Full, uh, big mode Kiara, the not yeah sorry demonic Bodhisattva mode, all the time. He loves just every time, like he got famous from that. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, he has a lot of HP and she heals a lot of it back. She is, she truly is one of those units you can get her. <laughs> She'll be on the brink at the very edge and then she'll just come back for more <laughs> Ooh, i'm gonna have so much fun with this video um mp charge 0.55 percent with three hit arts cards um with her current games like how you use her in teams like uh with castor and everything like she almost never has problems um looping back to her mp like before this buff it, the issue always was that she just looped a little bit too she just didn't loop enough like she looped pretty good but there was always like the, the one turn where she just loops a little not enough uh if you only use her with um double cast Oria. uh it basically it was an overkill problem and now it pretty much is solved uh star weight sergeant these are ultra ego numbers nothing really to sneeze at uh chaotic evil for domen stuff and because she's an alter ego like you would bring them to the same fights so there's not going to be like negative synergy and she herself is not getting crit damage although she can i believe she does a, get a crit buff on her third skill um but she herself isn't really focused on crits. It's more if she can do them, she'll gladly do them. 
Um, she'll gladly take shots. No, uh, no, no. That was that was just gonna be a bad joke. Um, yeah. But upstairs, as you can see, it's it's not. Uh, yeah, pretty good upstairs. Uh, but in the downstairs now, nothing to scoff at. He looks good now. All right. Uh, second skill. Or, no. Let's get started on the skills. Yeah. In English. Debuff. Uh, resistance down 100%. This helps land everything. This can be resisted, though. Just be aware. But if this does, you need to pop this skill first. Otherwise, pretty much any other debuff she lands or she's trying to land is not going to happen. So if this does not go th through, a lot of your other shit is kind of screwed. Because Kiara is a very, very, very debuff heavy unit. Uh, if you're fighting someone that is debuff immune, you're better off just like getting it using someone else. Truly. Um, yeah, like so much of her damage is tied to debuffs. This buff, though, does help her out in that sense. Um, her recent buff is actually a damage steroid for herself, which I actually don't think she had until now. I think everything else was debuffs. Um, so yeah, debuff resist down 100%, 30% arts res down, which is basically putting an arts buff, but tying it to the enemy instead of yourself. Uh, not a different part of the formula. It's in, it's in the same part as arts buff. And then a 50 battery on a six turn cooldown second skill uh guaranteed drain for all enemies uh 100 chance to remove the buffs so you have to fight buff resistance if they even have it which most uh enemy servants don't unless the cq gives it to them so this is pretty much guaranteed buff removal uh and then another debuff defense down three turns so yeah, if you cannot land this shit, like you have to fight the chances. Like if you're fighting someone with goddess essence, uh, your your only hope kind of is to land this. And considering that Kiara is uh, has anti ruler, he usually is fighting people with higher magic resist than normal. Like most assassin, most cavalry don't have magic resist. That's more a night class, so um, her being this debuff heavy would be a detriment if she was a pretender. Uh, she would need to have like more debuff uh, success rate in her kit. Uh, but yeah, never say no to an AOE buff strip. Expect like especially if it's all of their buffs and not just one. Uh, we see that with BB. Uh, BB Dubai. It is its own form of survivability by removing the enemy's uh, buffs. Because if they hit you for less damage, you live longer. Actually, that's kind of the opposite. Doesn't Kiara want the, uh, her uh, victims to be juiced up so they're... Uh Constantly doing damage to her. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure she won her allies on the on that blue pill. All right, third skill is where the buff is. So it took all these years to buff all of her skills and her MP. So it was 50% crit damage, 50% MP gen, 50% debuff resistance, and a 50% heal rate while also dealing 3,000 damage to herself. That always seemed, that to some people might seem like a lot, but literally her base, her MP would just heal that. And then this healing rate would affect her MP even further. And the LDR, you'd go from one HP to pretty much full in one MP. So, but this skill, Goddess Metamorphosis, they, this has been a skill that's been buffed for like a while. Like this was the last um, goddess metamorphosis, if I'm not mistaken, that hadn't been buffed. Yeah, no, because it was. It really was 
um, Ryder Ishtar, Pabamo, and Kiara that had this type of skill. And for all three of them, it's now buffed. It's now buffed, and they're probably either not gonna make the skill anymore, or they're just going to like have it in a buff state. And Kiara had the highest rank of this skill. She had it at the highest. And you might be considered. How do you go from an EX to a B? Um, that's like saying how like. How do you go from EX normal charisma to like B rank charisma for kings where you're you have a better charisma specifically dealing with kings and everyone else below below them? It, it's like that kind of thing. Like you would have you have the normal effects of this skill, but now she's going in a different direction and it fits Kiara far more for it to have uh, yeah, English this morning. It fits her far more to have demonic metamorphosis than goddess metamorphosis. Because goddess, she is fucking full of herself and something else down there. Demonic, well, well she's given it out for everyone now. She's, she's given that good stuff to everyone. Uh, so they got rid of the demerit. All of the other effects are staying the same. He gives the party anti good uh, for three turns of 30%, 20 battery for the entire party, and one stage one of overcharge that lasts for three turns. So you don't have to pop it this turn, you can do it another one. This skill buff makes her really, really, really good in multi core. He doesn't, it's not for her to be like the solo farmer. Uh, like the it's this buff isn't for her doing um double Castoria Oberon. This is for her being the AOE. Like first wave is gonna be AOE. Kiara is gonna do it because he wants to MP the turn she pops this skill, and because it, this lasts for three turns, you would assume that you should be popping this turn one. Um. However, like the anti good, that is only servants. So don't feel pressured that you have to pop this turn one, but you do want to pop this the turn you're MPing with um, Kiara. Um, yeah, and this even applies to like just your farming. Like, don't feel you have to pop this turn one. If, if you are doing solo core Kiara, don't feel pressure. Just uh, turn two would just be better because most, mm, like it really does depend. Like if you think, if your goal is to not have to spend battery on turn two, uh, then I would pop this turn one and just take advantage of the lower HP of uh, the first wave. Just because it like it's hard, it's easier to loop and get like full overkill on enemies that have less health when you have a key uh, MP like Kiara's, like the number of hits. Um, overall, like Kiara has like one of the best um, CQ kits in the game, and because she's alter ego, she's effective against a lot of kits. And even though she doesn't have like full class advantage, like she's not taking half damage. He heals so much, it really doesn't matter. Like, her gains are good. So if she needs to heal, all she has to do is MP. And it's not that hard to get her to MP. She really likes to just let it out and take stuff in. Passive skills, 8% crit damage, independent manifestation E, beast passive, uh, crit damage, insta kill resist, Mental debuff resist. Logos Eater. 16% passive defense against humanoid enemies. And if you didn't know, humanoid is pretty much all servants in the game except for eight. Which is a lot more when, like, I feel the first time I looked at this. Because first time I looked at this, it was only Summer BB. Summer BB was the... 
like showing me so that was before um even hang kyo wait no no no, no. it was bb and ibuki when i first looked at, at this uh and then all these other non-humanoids uh came into the picture so yeah passive 16 percent defense really helps with her taking more hits and again she's pretty masochistic so she probably gets off on this that is not my words that is a quote directly from oc3 it's out of context but it definitely still applies last passive nega saber this is the exact type of passive that cl has against sabers uh you can bring kiara against rulers and she will do the same type of damage uh she does against the calvary so kiara is effective against uh casters riders assassins double damage against foreigners uh rulers and berserkers that's a lot of classes to get at least 1.5 damage now uh, she's doing half damage against the other against the three knight classes but just just don't bring her to fight them it's not it's not that hard and if she does need to fight them i guess she's just gonna do carding then So if you know your so we are now told that appends are going to be like able to be turned off and on again. That means if you're bring Kiara to fight rulers like they're just splashed into the node. You really should just put this on because this will essentially give Kiara like at almost like full class advantage against rulers. I do think mana loading is good however with her most recent buff if she's doing it turn one it actually kind of like hmm, i don't know how to phrase it if you're trying to do double castoria if you don't have this unlocked it's not the end of the world because now kiara has 70 charge for herself and just two castoria batteries will get her literally to 100 and mping uh, it just means the cast, the two cast Sporias, uh, they'll just have a little harder time actually getting to their MPs. Like, you can't use one of the 20 batteries on them. Uh, but I do believe Kiara's looping situation is... I think it's slightly different if you want to... Yeah, no, it is different if you want to actually MP... Uh, or save this skill with the arts res down for final turn. Um, so yeah, quick maths. He starts with 20. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. So if you pop all the Castoria skills, like the AoE um, 60, they'll be at... Um, AoE 60, she'll be at 80. Two Castorias will be at 80. Um, one 20 goes on Kiara. One goes on one of the other Castorias. And you arch chain. Uh, so the other Castoria would also get her MP if you if you got a card. Uh, Kiara actually, if you're popping this skill one. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Hold up. Okay, actually yeah so if you're actually yeah let me rephrase everything every jumble i just said if you're able to loop a hundred percent the turn you pop this then there's no there's not going to be an issue anymore uh you can pop literally these two sk this skill uh have this maxed out you'll be at 40 aoe castorias you'll be at 100 for her you have the two ca um castoria 20 batteries um, you just pop it on each Castoria, and again, this is solo core, and then all three of them can MP, MP that first turn. Kiara gets an extra, um, her, her attack buff total will be at least 100%, which she doesn't have, uh, any steroids herself besides this power mod, so really good for her damage. Um, 
especially if she's using black girl that is a lot of multiplicative damage um yeah and then you will be able to save both these skills for turn three for max damage uh this 20 battery just like makes things significantly easier for her uh to really do her job now if you're not banking on her refunding 100 percent on that first uh mp uh you will have to kind of pop the batteries in a different order it again this is always going to depend on setup and especially how high of a mp copy you have of kiara because uh we'll get to in a second but kiara's mp has low hit so if you're not killing in the first hit her refund suffers dramatically uh which but with the amount of mp gain you have from this skill plus gastorius we're talking 110 percent mp gain with uh with 100 percent arts up it's actually going to be kind of hard for her not to be looping 100 percent at that point es especially if there's at least one caster if it's all berserkers is what it is hope for the best but most of the time kiara isn't looping against all berserkers because how are you trying to do that with arts that's what buster is for uh all right uh yeah, skill re reloading. Does Kiara actually need this? Does it help her? Of course it helps her. Does she need it? Not really. Um, it's always going to help with Tabumo, but Kiara specifically, like, he's not the biggest, like, extra attack spammer. It helps, again, but not the not the most important. And this this is pretty much if you plan on using her in Tabumo comps. Um, and you're, like... I'm not going to say you don't want this because, again, in Tomomo comps, they're spamming this. This is going to get spammed, they, so you're going to take less damage. Um, the issue with that is there is so much healing in that team. It's pretty much if you have to get one shot, otherwise you're not dying. And yeah, now she's going to be able to spam an invul and all this shit in a possible three turn cadence so yeah let's finally talk about the mp invul pierce defense pierce the invul pierce is a buff defense pierce is not it is part of the mp it will always activate her base healing for the mp is 5000 and it goes all the way up to 10000 so when she has the first skill up i mean third skill up plus 50 percent oc5 she can get her entire health bar back at fifteen thousand. if she's if you don't have her um no even if you have her foad that's still pretty much her entire hp like if you if you go lower basically one shot you're playing with the devil at that point not that you already aren't But yeah, this is basic MP. It's three hits. So if you're calculating damage, you need to calc that the H the enemy has to have a sixth of the total damage for one enemy. If they do not have HP lower than that, your refund is gonna suffer. That's that's just how um refund works with uh overkill being calc. Uh She's the alter ego, which I enjoy for leveling. It makes it really easy that you just need uh, pieces and monuments that you can get through events. Uh, I feel the same way about skill gems. Just do lottos and you shouldn't have issues like building up a lot of these. Uh, like, I'm not surprised by what any of these that she needs these for specifically. They all kind of less said about this and Kiara the better um, and that looks like a picture of her actual heart meaning it's black and deep and throbbing you just feel it pulsing inside her bond CE 20% arts up 3k max HP but everyone else in the party loses a 1000 
Uh, this is another bouncy where if it became a passive, it would be nice, but it's it's not something you should be giving up. Like you shouldn't be use, giving a black rail for this. That's all I'm saying. Ah. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. This was the f like this last weekend was some of the funny like some really funny shit. Seeing like uh, Plushy just evolve into like simping for Kiara. Like I, th there are so many jokes you can make about Plushy and all of his mistresses. Like truly, this is the anime <laughs> for 2024. Plushy's relationship status with his servants, and his obsession. <laughs> all right. Hope you guys have a good one. I will see you later. Peace. Almost forgot to show all the actual numbers for this. So these are just going to be quick clips. Uh, as you can see, Kiara's damage is now more in line with some of the higher tier four alter egos, AOE. Uh, she's like pretty much matching pace with uh, Okita Alter, which i think is pretty fair 20 uh 30 000 wasn't that low but you also have to remember she is like very very debuff focused this is with a 30 percent arts buff and a 30 percent defense down as well so this damage not that like this is going to be your turn three damage as long as you don't pop skill one and two uh when you're farming uh, so real quick, I'm just gonna pop out and show you what the damage looks like uh, if you don't uh, use this skill and uh, or if you don't use the first two skills uh, early. Yeah, sorry. Let me rephrase that. I'll show what her uh, full farming damage looks like now against a good enemy, and then I'll show if you d if you're not fighting good and you also pop the your debuffs too early okay so now we're gonna be doing testing for uh kiara with buffs we're gonna show uh kiara like what her damage is at mp1 uh when she doesn't land all her debuffs uh because but that is only that's gonna be without oberon uh for this run we, we are gonna do a different node uh the reason i'm showing like her not landing all the debuffs um is literally just because that does happen and constantine in this node i believe um mm, yeah so constantine has 18 percent uh debuff resistance which is why like it's good for this node like there's a pretty good chance like she whiffs and her damage is just gonna suffer. So like just briefly, uh, you can see that on the sheet, Kiara double Castoria with black rail and using 2004, I'm not using it. Um, but this is the damage, 20, uh, 243,000. Uh, on this calc, she hit 284,000. But the difference is that calc was um, the one over here. This is with the debuffs landing. Uh, I, uh, I have to go back for it. But as you can see, I didn't land anything on Michael or uh, Constantine over here. There was no arts res down that happened. This was this is purely Kiara with her being able to get amped by the two Castoria pops guaranteed. That truly is like giving her such a damage buff by like her having an extra base 60% than what is uh, normally uh, showing. So, and also there was so much charge. I didn't have to pop her 20 batteries, like either a Castoria's batteries on anyone uh, on turn one, everyone was still able to MP. And because, um, because over here, this uh, MP gain is enough. We were able to uh, just loop through and save these 20 batteries 
more for as batteries instead of needing them for refund. So she was able to get back to 100% uh, MP and then her damage was as good. So for stuff like this, Yara is just looping better and she can take advantage, like she can use her supports a little more effectively. Um, so now we're going to show what her damage actually looks like when she's able to land her debuffs. All right. So I decided we're going to do this node for it because Jung Yu does not have uh, debuff resistance. And if I'm going to be using Oberon, I want it to be like a node where like you actually need charge like this because... When I did the calcs before, Kiara, like that last run with Constantine, had so much extra charge. Like, even though I could plug suit Oberon in, I didn't need to. Uh, with this being one enemy in the first node, I we can actually bring in Oberon for way two. Not pop his third skill, but like the amount of charge he's giving actually would matter. Yeah, so end result, this is where a team like this is needed instead of doing it multi-core uh kiara is able to do this just by herself um like even the amount of overkill she gets here doesn't really matter um whether she killed or not she was always going to be able to mp this turn uh i i believe she yeah no no so after here she had uh, 40 from the Castorias and a full 70 from o Oberon. Like Kiara literally could have looped negative MP. She could have literally lost MP and been in like negative five and she still would have been able to MP turn two. And because it's three enemies this time uh, with them being Ryder, Kiara like even with the 50 drain from Oberon, like getting drained by Oberon, uh, or the 20 drain from popping his second skill on her, uh, she still was well within range to be able to MP again. So, yeah, Kiara is now a much more flexible farmer uh, for solo core. And yeah, this is a much better damage spike. Uh, this is what she was hitting like max before. 400 490 000. like the power mod definitely uh elevates her so yeah here she is looking really good i'm gonna enjoy getting mp2 in two years thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace